somebody shout hallelujah just before you sit down I want to once more acknowledge the presence of my wife here let's put our hands together for her it's like they conspired along with the mother of the house and decided to all go red it means there is a fire you are going to see red this week somebody put your hands together for the mothers of the house I will allow the Holy Spirit to do the rest today, but I want to acknowledge and thank God for the Apostle of the house here and his wife for allowing us to play the little roles that we have played in moving the vision of the kingdom forward not just in Nigeria but in the whole earth particularly as it concerns him and the vision God has put in his hands I want to say it's a privilege sir and I don't take it for granted at all I want to say greater seasons are ahead of you and greater works are coming very soon I didn't hear somebody say amen I want to bless the leadership of the throne room that are here with me and I want to thank you I was outside the country the near was coming but they didn't know exactly what I was expecting of them so they just got themselves together and decided to accompany me here and I thank God for their lives and what God is doing in Nigeria listen The head pastor said something very vital. He said, we have entered into a new season. We are moving away from the old, starting from the Sunday, into a new dimension, a new change. Today, if you believe that, let the glory of that rest upon your head. I didn't hear somebody say amen I repeat if you believe that let the glory of that revelation rest upon your head I want the music ministers to take their places as usual if you are used to me you will know and we need your services so if you are there take your places and help me this afternoon Channels of my spirit open up. I, I am with the, the Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let deep. Can you lift up your hands and just ask that the channels of the Spirit will open up to you now? Open up.
one last time, everybody, lift up your hands. Rabose kente ye kala ba 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 ba. Mando rose kente ye kala ba 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 ba. Mande ye koni abahat. Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus, let the heavens scatter right now the partitions of the earth that will not allow the destiny of men manifest. Today, we command that the old fold away. Today, we prophesy and call forth the new. To overtake and overthrow. In every life. Every old thing that was ready to fall. And everything that was not ready to fall. That has been an obstruction. Today. I release the proclamation of heaven. Let the fire of the God consume them out of your lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to pray for yourself that the channels of the spirit let it open up your life. Let it open up. Let it flow freely for your redemption, for your release, for your glory this year. Somebody just go into the spirit. Go into the spirit. Let's thank God for five years of grace. Five years. Five years. And let's thank God for the beginning of a new day. That is starting now. Can you ask the Lord, let my life be marked now. Let today become the beginning of a new day. Let my forehead be marked. Let my spirit be marked. Let my soul be mad. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Where these the land? Where these the land? Where these the land? You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. holy. Come on, let the sound are of thunder begin to peal from within your spirit. Oh let the rivers flow. Worthy is the land. Worthy is the land. Today I bind every principality and power. Worthy is the land. That will not release you to your destiny. I break that power to stand in your way. And I release the Spirit of God to lift you up into the place of His light and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, for 
the Lord God Almighty reign. Let the Lord take them over the foundations of your life this morning. The place from which you were born. Let a new glory begin to speak in your life. Let every struggle begin to dissipate and disappear. For the Lord God Almighty Isaiah 65 verse 17 and to 19 on the screen Isaiah chapter 65 because this is the new thing God is doing by a law in one day God is going to suddenly shift you into a place you never imagined. In one day. In one day. And today that heaven is being created. Over you to take you to the next level. That F. From now. You will walk on a different earth from other people. No. Not be the same ground on Agawaka together. I'm telling you what is going forth. What is happening now? What is happening now? I am not going to walk on the same ground with my neighbor. What divorce him will not devour me. What stops him will not stop me. What destroys him will not destroy me. Today I release you from where you are. Into this new ground of covenant. And I put the heavens of God over you. And I command the earth of God to take over the affairs of your life. To take over the affairs of your feet. And everything that dismantled you in the old, we demolish them one by one now. I command them to die out of your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall die out in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Listen, some of you will still not understand. There is a law that is gone forth. This year is a Sabbath year for the Jews. It's a Sabbath year. 5782 is a Sabbath, is a leap year for the Jews. It's a leap year. Leap years are not normal years. And interestingly, these two months, February and March, they are known as the pregnant months when the deep opens up and opens her eyes and spirit to recover that which was stolen and to set forth new directions new dimensions i repeat to set forth new directions new dimensions may your deep find you in this season may that which could not be removed be removed in this season I release the force of God to change your direction to change your expectation in the name of Jesus 
I smite your waters to heal. I say let your life begin to experience a healing move. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. No, you still don't understand. That is why you are still standing. So that while you are yet standing, everything that needs to be judged should be judged while you are yet standing. Because the matter is hot. It's an urgent decree. That whatever will not allow you rise in this season, let it die in this moment. I say let it die in this moment. Let it die in this moment. Let the Lord afflict them in this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, my God arise. And let your enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Hey. Say seven times more shall be measured unto you for that which has been stolen. The yoke of the serpent shall no longer speak in your life. For the years of the manifestations of your destiny and the clarification of the path that you should follow has come, said the Spirit of the Lord. 
I will do a new thing. Behold, I will crown you with glory. And the glory I crown you with will protect you. It will defend you. It will attract your new place to you. You will not walk a new path. You will no longer walk the old path. For a new thing do I do this day. Say the spirit of the Lord. Can somebody wave and shout hallelujah. Can somebody wave and shout hallelujah. Isaiah 65 17 says. For behold. I create new heavens. Heavens with capital. I mean with S. Not just one heaven. New heavens. Severally on everyone. Individuals. New heavens. New heavens. Do you know even in the natural. There are heavens. It's not just one. Even in the natural. But God says. I am creating a new heaven. To promote. What I'm about to carry out. The old one is not sufficient. The old one is corrupted. I command that corruption to fall away from your life. Everything that is corrupted around you. The covenants that are corrupted. I release the fire of God to cut them off. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Of necessity. I am raising a new heavens. So you need to begin to throw away the old mindset. And begin to connect to a new heaven under a better covenant anytime God makes a new thing it's better he said for behold I create new heavens and a new earth not earth a new earth to carry my program in your life to carry you so when the enemy goes to the old address he won't find you because that address disappears this morning. Diminishes this morning. Can you say so let it be? The old address is demolished this morning. So when the enemy attacks you, it's no longer you. It's attacking the old that it no longer contains you. And that old would only poison him. And destroy him. Because your life is under a new law. And a new decree. But look at this. He says, and the former shall not be remembered. Nor come into mind. The end of a season of affliction is over. Oh, can we read verse 18 together? But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which ah, I release into your hands and into your life the new things God is bringing to your possession. That which I create, rejoice in that which I am creating to embrace you and I'm making you to embrace. I'm just being prophetic. I'm a foreigner for the conference. Prepare the way for the others and they can build from here. Revived to revive. It says, it says, but be ye glad and rejoice forever, not for a short time. Any good thing God makes to happen to you this year shall leave a legacy for your generations. In that which I create for everybody, behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing. And her people a joy. And I, the Lord, by myself, I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. 
and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping, oppression, sorrow shall be no more heard in her. Nor the voice of crying. Can somebody say amen to that? If I stop here, I'll finish my work. But I want you to be seated for a moment. Two visions. God gave me before he gave me this scripture. Two visions. Number one. In the new program that God was bringing, one morning in Ghana, last year, November to be specific, early hours of the morning, I thought maybe because I over enjoyed my sleep. But suddenly I was ushered into a new world. I saw a new heavens open with a kind of sapphire semblance spread out. And I saw God begin to plant 12 palm trees. 12. Whose foundations came from the deep of the sea. And they were the tallest palm trees on earth. They went into the heavens. And I saw their branches begin to produce other branches in their hundreds of thousands all over the world. And I saw the dominions of the earth handed over to them. And I said, God, what is this? It was so beautiful. Look, they kept on multiplying as if multiplication was the easiest thing on earth. You know, they were just reproducing themselves from 12, 12 pillars. And I heard the Lord say, I'm going to raise 12 richest people. He was talking about finance, resources, ego, money. He was talking about estates. I'm going to place 12 extremely rich pillars whose dominions will control government, politics, and the economies of the nation. It is whichever direction they command the earth that the earth will move. I will create them in this season for a season. And they will go on and help pick my children from the dust by the oils upon them. Wherever their oils dropped, thousands sprang up in that place. I made my seeds to board through them. And all those that were their kind had dominions in their nations and in their communities. And he said, I will redeem the foundations that were lost. And I will carry them to a new place where no man can do them any harm. Today, in the name of Jesus, I release your spirit from where it was into that place where your blessing is. I command your, the foundations under you to begin to give you up for the blessing that is ahead of you. I command the circumstances under you to begin to give you up to the blessings that is ahead of you. Can you say my father? Break the walls and take me to the new place. I'm going to minister to quite a number of you in a moment, after sharing this vision, and I can hand over the mic. And I saw a second vision. Almost similar to the first, but different. In the course of that retreat, I saw the rivers 
full of darkness, thick blackness, all over the place. Everything seemed to have been soiled, corrupted. And I saw a very long, I still don't know whether it was a fish or a snake. It had the features of both. Because it was swimming inside. Big. And I saw it move in the midst of that darkness gently. And at, at first I was afraid. I thought it was a messenger of darkness. Until the understanding came to me. That was the Holy Spirit. Just like in Genesis chapter 1. And he moved in the midst of the chaos of the deep. And he moved gently, seamlessly, quietly, and nobody knew where, what it was looking for. And it was diving deeper and deeper into the waters. It never bothered itself with what was happening on top. It was more interested in what was happening beneath. And it went deeper until it found the roots of a tree then i realized that that tree was one of those tall trees it found the roots in the waters and i saw it begin to dissolve itself it began to enter into the roots enter from underneath into the roots and the branches and began to become one with the tree and conform itself to the tree and then suddenly i saw those roots begin to light up i will just tell you the stories of the lord and i will allow the lord do the rest in your life the roots in the deep black waters began to light up and it was lighting up and when it come, came close to the bed, the, 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 the level of the water where it begins to, the tree begins to show itself outside. I saw the whole place lit up completely. Beautiful color. A mixture of, I don't know which color here to describe it with. It wasn't red. It wasn't sapphire. It wasn't beautiful. The whole tree became light as against the darkness and lit all the environment around the darkness in, in the deep. And then something wonderful happened that frightened me. It stopped moving up. It stayed there increasing, increasing its fire and glow. And suddenly, Things began to fall out. Clusters, bundles of worms that looked like snakes began to fall out from under the tree as if the tree was excreting them out. You know, like growths in bellies that are removed from women with such growths. Big fat. They will come out in their clusters and they will begin to break away from the cluster and they became little dead snakes and worms. Dead. For the fire consumed them. The fire burnt up what was killing the tree. What was hindering the tree. I said, Lord, what is happening here? And suddenly the light the glow of it began to light up the rest of the tree outside. The color of the tree began to change. And it lit it up and began to enter into the branches. And suddenly, the tree begin, began to bud new fruits. I'm telling you the visions behind this scripture, this text, this new thing. It began to bud new fruits new fruits new fruits and the lord said 
because that's what was I saw. He said he's releasing new men and families of wealth. Twelve majorly. I saw two in Africa. Major. 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 For the continent of Africa, I saw two. But twelve in every continent of the earth. There was a three. Some had two. And I saw the Lord destroy the demons, the clusters of serpents that will not allow them exhale, excel, and prosper. And I saw the Lord give them the power of the economies of the nations, the secrets from his secret treasures. God said in this day, you are going to begin to control and rule over governments and decide the directions of nations from the new place, from the new visitation with which he is going to visit you. No, you don't understand. Listen. Listen. Because this is very important. This is very important. Ah, Baba, I want you to stand up. know the situations in your life I want to repeat I don't know the situations in your life but everyone that has become a cluster and is holding you bound in one place by any reason today I prophesy that it dies now The release of your spirit I command that you be clothed with a new garment that your soul be redeemed from the laws of the circumstances around you that others have created that government had created that situations have created today I break their power to control you now I release you from their dominions be free in the name of Jesus I didn't hear somebody shout a thunderous amen. And the tree was cut loose. And its light began to glow. I found out that over the years, God had built clusters of, res of restriction. Not resistance, restriction clusters a night has come to and you know it was symbolized by my, my my own physical car I have a beautiful Jeep that I'm in love with they know it I have several cars but that is the one you see me with always that is the one I come with here always and suddenly this year about a month ago it developed a problem in this pregnant year God will kill those things that will not allow you to exhale and release your tree to a new place. You know, the prophet is sometimes afflicted by what he speaks as a sample so that his understanding can be full, but he's not limited by them. You will understand how God works with his prophets. But listen, because <laughs> what we thought was a simple thing became a major thing. We found out that the whole pipe, the exhaust, 
had been sludged up, you know, it, it, it's, it had become so muddied and blocked. And we thought it stopped there. So they were tracing it gently. The same way in my dream. The spirit entered from one part of the root, the, far, the starting of the root, and began to enter inside. And they were tracing it gently, and they found out that the whole exhaust was filled, I don't know what you call it, just had been muddy. It was blocked completely. They cleaned that place in two days because of the nature of the car. It took them one day to dismantle, to get to the exhaust. And then they cleaned it up. And they started the car. The car started, moved and stopped. And the man said, nothing is happening here. So he, eventually they had to call me where I was. Let's open the engine. I said, this is a brand new vehicle. You don't open those engines. If you open them, you lose them forever. He said, sir, we have done everything else. Check everything else. Except if this is a spirit car, it should be moving. We have to open up this engine. Ah, whatever God must do to redeem you, to release you to the new place. I release the power of God to force and crush that thing in your life and bring you to that new place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Interestingly, the Jews believe that this is the year of the trushing. Trush. The trushing. That a new thing might be born. They opened the engine and the whole engine was blocked. Blocked with all kinds of uh, uh, oil. You know, the oil had become become baked baked oil inside the engine what kind of thing is that i've never heard of that before the, only the mechanics can understand that the whole engine was baked everywhere there was sand, sand. The, the oil had become mud it had filled the place you will think you were in the ninja delta did you hear what i said so the engine cannot pull I noticed that last year it will be speeding and suddenly it will start slowing down itself but it won't stop and suddenly it will pick again and they will check and they will say there was nothing have you rechecked your life and there is nothing and yet your life is slowed down today I release that power of the Holy Ghost to find that thing and consume it out of your life and I command your life free of those incubulances in the name of Jesus. And at first they called me, they said, sir, you will have to buy a new engine. This car is too important for us to open and you use the same engine. But they cleared the search. I mean, all the things that were inside. Put, of course, if you open an engine, you have to put a new gasket. Put up the new, put in the new gaskets, fixed up the engine, and they called me and said everything was normal. The car moves the way it should move. No hindrance. They've been testing it for one week now. And testing and testing. I said, everything is free. And the Lord said, I am still trying to show you the vision of the year that I am commanding a new heavens. Can you put your hand upon your head? Can you ask God to begin to kill every worm that has become a serpent in your life? whether they are physical or spiritual baba i release your spirit to find them and kill them let that fire burn them.
Can you open your mouth and permit the Holy Spirit? It is your life. Let him find the dwelling of your life. Permit God, the serpent. Burn the worms. Burn. Take them out. I'm just laying foundations. Others will build. They may not start from this foundation. I just want to open the gates. So that everything you touch can be healed can be revived to revive is to make a life to revive is to recover to restore to revive is to give life and to receive life it's about life revival and nothing else Can you ask the Lord to recover your life? Arise, recover my life, my grounds, my blessing. In every place where my name has been mentioned to occupy, recover it for me. In every place where your books have ordained that I enter, recover them in this year. Open the gates. Restore. Restore. of my life both the secret and unforeseen ones and the very obvious ones in the spirit and in the physical and I invite your Holy Spirit in to destroy for me the old that has not allowed my future that is holding me in one place in the present. That is controlling the present. And release the spirit of the future. And the blessing of the present. I open the gates. With my mouth I confess my salvation. And I invoke your Holy Spirit to take over. Today. I enter into covenant with you. For a, for a new heaven and a new earth and a new earth and a new earth let me become a rejoicing let me become a rejoicing let me become a rejoicing you said you will make me glad forever I invoke the spirit of that scripture I receive it for my healing my deliverance now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Now, while you are yet standing, I don't know who you are here. Because I'm starting the deliverance prayer, the release, the covenant. But there is no man that God created without a destiny attached to that person. Everybody, no matter how small. Because I saw these trees that were lit up take over the lives of communities and control the communities. They became a blessing. They opened malls of salvation, revived to revive. They opened malls in the cities of salvation. I saw churches prosper, opening branches all over the place. I saw a great revival. God sat in his glory in their homes and they were singing and laughter. And I saw the demons that destroyed them, including their own secret iniquities, lying dead, destroyed. The conspirators that conspired against their lives. I saw the pots from which their lives had been soaked in and limited. Pots of witchcraft. I saw them lying in pieces, scattered and destroyed. As I'm talking now, every structure that will not let you be, we dismantle them. The ones in the physical, let them scatter. The ones in the spiritual, let them scatter. I release the power of God to demolish them in your life. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. I command a new heaven to form over you now. From today, I release a new heaven to control every new law in Nigeria. Economic law. I say economic law. Political law. Governmental laws. I release the new heavens to make them make decrees even if it's for a moment to carry you to your next place. They are pregnant months when the deep rediscovers our foundations and begins to shift us. Today, let your shifting be made complete. will take this word and go and do a good warfare with it because it's the foundation of this meeting God visited the deep Father thank you Father thank you Isaiah 30 Verses 30 to 32. Remain standing because I'm concluding. Remain standing. I just want to drop the word. Not too many revelations. Just drop the word. Others will bring the other revelations. I have about three pages written here. And I'm only reading, I'm only taking care of half of the three pages. That's all. Just drop in the word. <laughs> if you are writing, write. When God revives, there is a rejoicing, or there is not a revival. It's your spirit rejoicing. Then you have not received a revival if it is not. It brings you joy, it brings you liberty, it sets you free. Psalms 85, verse 6. Write that quickly. The people rejoice when God revives. When God revives, there is a spiritual revolution. Your life is lightened up. Or your life is lit up. Lives are changed. Situations are changed. Quality of living is changed. The quality of living changes. Check yourself. Are you revived? If you are not revived, then a demon, some serpent needs to die somewhere. Something needs to be lit up. 
to bring your rejoicing. Ah, when God revives, the tide turns around against your enemies. And the tide turns around for your good. When God revives, tides turn around. Are the tides? So if you are writing, write. Or get the tapes and listen to them. The tides turn around against your enemies. When there is true revival in your life, if the tide does not turn, there is no revival. It's your emotions. It's not just about happiness. It's about physical manifestations around you. He wounds your enemies when your tide, when, when the tide turns around. He wounds your enemies. He wounds them. Psalms 138, verse 7. You will see that there. So write that. Write that. These were important things God said I have to mention before we pray this last prayer of deliverance. So that any demon that stands contrary to it. <laughs> ah. Ah. When God revives, there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. Hey, there is no lifting up. It's not a revival. Because it does not turn your life around. There is a lifting up. <laughs> Isaiah 57, 15. And attached to that. Truly, if you go to a revival, the more you are revived, the humbler you become. The more contrite, broken. When God revives, there is brokenness. There is a spirit of ale, ale that, that, that dwells around you. You live in ale of him. You live conscious of his possibilities. Of his almightiness. His strength, his efficacy. If you are not experiencing that, you have not gone through a revival. I'm saying this before all the other ministers. If you don't come to that level in this week, it's not a revival. Alone. You have to go back to the Lord and get a revival. Ah. So, a revival only takes place in the midst of an environment of brokenness. It only takes place in an environment of brokenness. That is why in Acts 3.15, I mean, yes, in Acts 3.19, sorry. And in Acts 2.19, both of them. It's repent. You hear? Repent, 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 repent. It starts with repent. And it's referring to the church. The entrance of revival starts from the place of broken repentance and awareness of his capability, knowing that only he takes you there. And because of that, you are broken enough to follow him according to his word to get to where he's taking you to. Without that, my brother, you are still as stubborn as yesterday. Nothing has changed. There is brokenness. Ah. So when God revives, there is repentance and contrition. Contrition. Acts 3, 19 to 21. And then... The Messiah brings you blessing. Because you will see the messenger, the Messiah, in Acts 3, 19, 21. When God revives, idols are destroyed. It's the end of idolatrous practices. Idols are destroyed. The sources of iniquity are destroyed. Serpents die. Sin is brought under subjection. Ah. Very powerful scripture. Hosea 14, 7 to 8. You will see that there. First Kings 15, 12 to 13. Second Chronicles 34, 3 to 8 and 15. The first thing those kings did was to destroy the altars. Was to destroy those altars. Destroy them completely. You need to go back and wipe them, sweep them. Is there an idol in your house? Go back and wipe them. The worms, because we are going to pray a final prayer. 
That's why I'm asking you to write. And your prayer should be, of course, that Habakkuk prayer. Habakkuk 3 to, to 6. Asking God to revive you. Habakkuk chapter 3. Verse 2. Put that on the screen. Let's see. What does it say? Oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make no. In wrath, remember mercy. And you read it on and on and on. Ah, you only revive something that is dead. If it is not dead, it does not need the revival. Uh, you restore it back to life. But God is going beyond the revival in these days. Note. To building you a permanent habitation. Where you live in freedom and liberty. And the enemy cannot touch you. Until he brings you to that place. Your revival will not last. You will always go back. That means he must take you from the laws and circumstances. That kept you dead. That kept you in chains. Into the place. God told me. He will feed the church from a secret place. He will open in this season. And they will seem to prosper. In the midst of trouble. And people will not understand how their prosperity. And where it's coming from. Uh, Jeremiah 49, before we read Isaiah 30, 30 to 32. Jeremiah 49, 35 to 36. Put that on the screen. Jeremiah 39. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will do what? I will break the bow of Elah. The emphasis is not breaking the bow. The chief of their might. Where is the source of your problem? Where you are standing now, let God go hunting. Whatever is the source of your problem, let the fire of the Lord fall upon them. I repeat, this year, God is fighting the chiefs. He's not fighting the problem. Eh? He's killing the chiefs so that the problem can die permanently. How many of you want that? I release that spirit in the deep to enter into your foundations now. Every chief circumstance that has displaced your destiny, I command its spirit. I cause it to die. I command that spirit to be smitten. I command your soul to be cut loose in the name of Jesus. Can somebody wave and shout, Amen? Amen. Now, God told me that that is how He's tackling the foundations and the issues of the nation this year. He's going to attack the chief things, the strategic things that gave others life. He's no longer going to play. So, don't be surprised. A major man you are fighting with is not the problem, there is another spirit behind it. God will kill that spirit so that that man can dry up. So he is attacking the source, the chief that gave Elam its power to boast against God, to be proud, to be proud because it was the salvation of Israel in its own days. It was the strength of Israel. It became proud. And God decided not to attack all the sinners there. No, he decided to attack the chief. The chief. The chief. Today, that thing that is seated over your head in judgment. Because the Lord is spirit. I release God in the spirit realm. To find it over your life. And cut it down. In your village I will send messengers to destroy them. I invoke Isaiah 30, 30 against them. In the name of Jesus. And this is what is leading me to Isaiah 30, 30. And that will be the last scripture by God's grace. Listen. Because it's very important. And I want you to follow this after. Follow it after. Until a new heavens begins to shine around you. 
until a new earth begins to manifest begins to manifest jeremiah 49 35 and 36 put that put that on what does it say jeremiah 49 thus say the lord of hosts behold i will break the bow of Ella, the chief of their might 36 go on to 36 please and upon Ella, will i bring what the four winds you are going to have service points helpers are coming to you from the four winds four quarters of heaven and will scatter those chiefs will scatter those things those oppressive atmosphere towards all those winds and there shall be no nation without the outcast of Elam shall not come today let the wind begin to blow towards your life now now those winds are not only going to scatter but they are going to gather that is their mission this year you remember it was the same winds in the book of numbers chapter 11 verse 31 it was the same winds that gathered the quails from all the ends of the earth and they brought it to a specific address they dropped it right in front of the camp in front of your house and there went forth a wind from the lord and brought quails from the sea and let them deliberately fall <laughs> Your next level will deliberately fall in your house. I release this mystery to possess you. And let them deliberately fall by the camp at the door, your domot. The, as it were a day's journey on this side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side. Round about the camp, as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. God is going to be deliberate in his blessing this moment. He's going to pick your address. And he's going to deal, put these things down. Now, just before we pray this prayer, I don't know what I told you. The year is common, co connected to Zebulun. Did I mention that? He said Zebulun year, the tribe of Zebulun in scripture. Do you know the meaning of Zebulun? It means habitation. It means that this year, this year, for everyone that that is why it's a new heaven and a new earth everyone that is born again or that seeks the lord in righteousness god will build for that person a habitation like i said where no one can touch them where they are comfortable where the blessing will be forever to ensure that the blessing remains everybody will be built so this year is a year of building and that's why i told them during a private visit i'm coming to dedicate things in this church this year your pastor will dedicate your own. Are you following me? This one is my covenant with the family. Whether they invite me or not, I will intrude as I always do. Did you hear what I said? I bulldoze myself in, do what I must do and walk away. Listen to me. A messenger will follow you up until habitations are built for you. I release that power over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you talk about Zebulun, then you will talk about Deuteronomy 33, 19. You see, I'm just dropping the points. Deuteronomy 33, 19. Deuteronomy 33. Look at what for habitations. Deuteronomy. Zebulun was a midwife that helped Israel enter into riches, abundance, habitations. So what did Zebulun do? He says, they shall call the people unto the mountain. We are here. Can you say, God, remember me? God, remember Open me. the heavens now and admit me into your program, into what you are up to this year. Let it swallow my spirit and my soul and my body. Let it speak to me, uh, for me everywhere I enter. In the name of Jesus, on this mountain, let a new heaven descend for me, a new earth be formed, new blessings come. Let the judgments of the Lord stand before me and straighten out my life and straighten out my situations and straighten out my habitations and straighten out my blessings. In the name of Jesus, I enter into a new habitation by the virtue of this morning. In Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Put back that scripture. What does it say? 33. It says, they shall call the people unto the mountain. Dear! They shall offer sacrifices of what? Righteousness. 
then what is going to be the result? For from the place of that mountain, they shall begin to suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures not hid, undiscovered in the sand. I release you from overuse wells into treasures undiscovered. Can you say open in the name of Jesus? Open, 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 open. Somebody begin to shout. Open, 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 open. No, you are not going to take up the stale bread. Can you say on this mountain? In the name of Jesus, I enter into covenant with you, O oh God, Almighty. Open the hidden treasures that are hidden in the sun and let them build a new habitation for my life. I receive the spirit of that visitation now. I go out with that spirit. In seven days, give me a sign. Within seven days, give me a sign. I receive the visitation of angels in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, Open! It says there, the treasures, the treasures. They, they is referring to Zebulumo. I'm not going into that because we don't have the time. So, you can read the verses before when you want to know whether the man is telling truth or lies. You will read the verses before you will see it. It says, the heat and of treasures hid in the sand. So you'll be stumbling into treasures you didn't plan for. Yeah. You are going back home today. People will be sending for you to come and collect. Yeah. That's the new season. You are revived to heal other people. You are revived to heal other people. You are revived. Remember what happened in Matthew 14, 14 to 21. Eh? Jesus had finished preaching. And the people were to disperse empty stomach. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Jesus had finished healing all their sick. And the people were going to be dispersed. Go to the next verse, 15. And when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desert place, dry place, black place. The time is now past. Send, ah, your time is not past. Send the multitude away that they may go into and buy. Eh, 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 eh. God said, No, this is your ministry. Verse 16 is your ministry. He said, But Jesus said to them, They need not the Where are they going to? He said, Give ye them to eat. You are going to. It's time to give, you know, give ye them to eat. From all that I will feed you with, you will feed others. That's why I said you will buy the malls, you will build the entertainment centers, you will take over the whole region. The water shall be healed by your healed waters. I didn't hear somebody say amen. How many of you are understanding the clarity of this revival? You will get those who are sick healed. He sent them two by two and they were healing. It's time for you to begin to move out from the blessings you have received to make your blessings possess the earth. I release you by an ordination of heaven. I anoint your head and crown you with the empowerment to possess and take over your environment. The word crown, to crown, it means to encycle. To lock you up with blessing until you don't know what to do with the blessing. Eh? You are breathing it every day. You are, it's just choking you. You are just enjoying it. You know, lock you up with blessing is to crown, is to encycle you and make you become that thing. You become riches. To crown means to encycle. To crown. That's why you must not be crowned with affliction. Because it means you are trapped in affliction. 
To crown is to be trapped in the blessing. A blessing that brings dominion. That's why it's a crown. That gives you dominion. Puts it under you. That is not the word crown. When the Lord gives you a crown. All the 24 elders in heaven had crowns on their head. Crowns. They, had, they were trapped with blessing. And they could bless other people. Revived to revive. Revive to revive. Ah, Baba. Let me just shut down this thing. Put that Isaiah 30. <laughs> because I, as I look at this book, I won't stop. Isaiah 30. You have gotten the main point. The others, we can't finish it. They are coming. Bigger teachers. Uh, big, big prophets. I'm just telling you the direction. They will build. Apply them to this foundation. Isaiah 30, 30. What does it say? <laughs> and because of this, the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard in every part of your life. Yeah. Ah! Today, in government, your name will resound. Yeah. At home in the village, with the witches, your name will resound. Yeah. Let my people go. Release the blessings of my children. Listen, in this season, both witches and righteous people will serve you. Yeah. Eh? They won't kill you. When they send their weapon against you and the witchcraft spirit is coming, eh? the Holy Ghost will be standing and it will, divide, it will divert that witchcraft spirit to carry a flower of blessing. And when it lands at your place, it's the flower of blessing you see. So every evil they shoot at you will become converted. And you will go thanking them, thinking they truly sent it from their hearts. It was a mistake. They didn't intend it for good. Did you hear what I said? And because by that weapon they have exalted you to the next level, they won't be able to find you when they come back again. I release these events upon your life. Never will you be trapped by the enemy again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No, look at it. Put that scripture. His voice shall be heard everywhere. And shall show the lightning down of his arm with indignation. That means God will release. I won't show you. I won't tell you the vision. So I saw the vision in this, but I won't talk about that. God, look, the lightning down of his hand. God is going to become the aggressor this year in your life. There is going to be an aggressive move to turn around the winds that should be turned around and to lift you to your next place. The lightning hands. That means anything that rises against you shall be cut off by fire. Yeah. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Yeah. And the indignation of his anger because there is so much. Oh, those of you who didn't listen to our global broadcast yesterday, watch. Go and Google Global Watchman. And listen to yesterday's own particularly. It's very important. Listen. It's a pregnant moon. I won't go into that. But we are going to pray for the Ukraines and Russia. Just one sentence. When I'm concluding. I mean when I close. Because your standing up is for closing now. Listen. Because it's all part of the international program. The global program of God. Ukraine. The USSR wants to be reborn. And those of you who remember. The core of the USSR was Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. They formed the core, the core, 
they were the brain box of the original USSR. Those three. Russia had already has already assimilated Belarus. Ukraine is the most difficult because it has more army men than Russia. It has more troops than Russia. But it doesn't have the equipment. It doesn't have the training. Listen. Listen. Putin's mission is to bring back the broken idol and restore it in prophecy to begin to gather the army that will come against Israel in the end time. And already, as you know, all the enemies of Russia have, uh, all the enemies of Israel have made Russia the rallying point. From Iran, anybody who wants to come against Israel, you know, Syria, all of them, they are all, the rallying point for them, their godfather is Russia. The armies of Russia are right there at the borders of Israel in Syria. Along with Iran, the Jews attack the Iranian sites, but don't touch the Russians. But the Russians are there. And the Russians are the one doing the supply. And Israel is just destroying the supply line. Did you hear what I just said? It's a game of cats and serpents. The Lord will help us. But for those of you who don't understand, the deep, the belly of the deep, the next three weeks will decide a lot of things. Go and take the prayer items from that broadcast. How ought we to pray now? Look, the deep, the deep must give up what it is holding against you. The deep must give up the blessing that it has been holding. The deep must visit you. It's a season of the deep. And you must make it a blessing. Put that scripture, put that scripture, put that scripture. It says, it says, let's go to the next verse. Of course, for through the voice of the Lord, now note, the voice of the Lord is being spoken of twice again. For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down, which smote the rod, which smote your rod, which smote your instrument, your ability, the sign of your power, your instrument, the power to make wealth, which smote your power to make wealth, which is your rod. It says here, for through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian Assyrian be beaten down. Anything that had eaten up instruments of blessing in your life, let them hear the voice of the Lord. Now, that last verse, that is where I was coming to. 32. Put 32. And in every place, every house, every habitation, where the ground staff shall pass, so look, God has the ground army. There is the air force, but there are the ground troops. The ground staff, the ground rod shall pass. And today I'm invoking it to pass through your houses. Yeah. Eh? So that it can search out the serpents. This year, the serpents, look, you begin to blossom and you won't know why. You won't just understand. The secrets hidden in the sun, the treasures, God will feed you from new treasures. He's not going to allow you to compete with other people for one blessing. No, 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 no. They will hand over the blessing. I command these strange things to begin to happen to you now. How many of you are blessed this morning? It says, everywhere the ground staff will pass, which the Lord shall lay upon him. It shall be with trumpets and harps, and in battles of shaking will he fight with it. It will be in the midst of a battle, Lord. Eh? But the Lord will be bringing rejoicing in the battle for you. Every battle will make you greater and stronger. So it's not going to be void of battle. That is not what I'm saying. No, 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 no. In the midst of the darkness, the spirit healed the tree. It didn't heal the whole water. And the tree blossomed in, in spite of the darkness in the sea. That's the story of this season. Put it, let's conclude it. Because we are coming to Tophet. And in battles of shaking, we live fight with it. Uh -huh. Go to the next one now. 33. Sorry, I didn't say up to 33. Okay. For Tophet is ordained of old. Yea, for the king it is prepared. For you, you are the king. Tophet was prepared to serve you. For the king it is prepared. He had made it deep and large. The pile thereof of fire and much wood. The breath of the Lord like a stream. Don't kindle it. 
Listen. Tophet is a criminal. It's the spirit that criminates anything that stands against God. Listen. It is one factor. It's like Hades. Hell is raised up to meet with Satan and to swallow him. It's the same thing with Tophet. It's a criminator. So, anything that rises against you shall be criminated. Yeah. Now, that is one power in heaven that no witchcraft can control. Not even Satan. Satan cannot control hell. And what hell does? No. He has no power to control hell. Did you hear what I just said? Because hell was prepared by God for judgment. So, only the Spirit of God can make hell act. Listen to me. Because the church will be coming against the ancients. God has prepared a spirit that will deal with the fallen demons. So when you sense that there is a demon where no prayer seems to work, release the spirit of prophet to criminate it. You are educated people. So when you say criminate, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You criminate bodies. You just no body that is being criminated, including the wood, can withstand the fire. Everything burns together. Did you hear what I said? So there is a criminating spirit that criminates your problems. Can you lift up your hands and just worship the Lord for this one? Worship the Lord. Give him his glory. Give him his praise. Can you tell the Lord that today you open the gates of your life and that today you are letting in Tophet, you are invoking the spirit of Tophet to visit all the ancient places and begin to criminate those things that are stronger than you and clear the way for you and make a highway. Forgive me. If you can go on your knees, go on your knees. Can you say, KBSE, I am reporting at your feet. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey! You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Can you ask the Lord? That let the laws of the old heavens be criminated now. Let him release the spirit of Tophet to stand between you and every destiny killer, every yoke, every principality in your father's house, all their witchcraft, criminate them for me. The foundations, that was what that Holy Spirit did to that root. It criminated all the demons that had eaten up the foundations, the serpents, the worms. It burnt them by fire. For the three, it was a release of life. For those demons, it was a death sentence. I repeat, for the three that the Holy Spirit visited, it was a lit up. It was the release of life. Revived to revive. And for the demons that ate it, they were criminated. Can you ask God to begin to criminate? Literally, Baba. Criminate everything. By my power, I am not strong enough. I've done what every man can do. Can you criminate these demons for me? Eat them up. Destroy them. Make a highway. Open the door. Let the new lease of life follow. Lift my head. 
Can you tell God to enter into your heavens and criminate the old laws of those heavens and create a new heaven over you? Manufactured and packaged only for you. A new law that guides you as an individual and your family. They will bring you to the abundance of the sea and the hidden treasures hidden in the ground or in the sand. Tell him to create the new earth. Are you afflicted by sickness and disease? Can you ask God to criminate that sickness that will not allow you to enter to the next level? There is a mercy. They found mercy. He taught them to find mercy in righteousness. Or in righteousness receive mercy. That was what Zebulun did. He brought them to the mountain. And the voice of that mountain followed them everywhere. The voice followed them everywhere. Can you say tonight, Lord, let your voice follow me home. Let your voice be heard in my home. I open the gates of my life, my father's house. Disconnect me with every connection that destroys or holds me back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I receive this blessing in my breath and therefore in my spirit. In the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Can you breathe in everyone? Just taking a deep breath. Breathe out in Jesus' name. Breathe in a second time. Let the Spirit of God sit over your brain, your mind, your spirit and your soul. And repossess all your habitations. And take you to the next level. Breathe out and breathe a third time. God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Trinity, becoming one with your destiny. Can you begin to bless the Lord? Stand up on your feet and just bless the Lord. Just give Him glory, give Him praise. Bless the Lord, give Him glory, give Him praise. Bless the Lord. Put your hand upon your heart. Today, receive a new spirit and a new heart. The law of God is gone forth. Anything that will disobey the decree of this morning, let it be cut down in Jesus' name. Today, your feet is released from the chains that kept you in one place. The yoke of that chain is broken. I say the yoke of that chain is broken. Somebody shout broken. broken. There is somebody here you have been overdue for three years now. Three years. And Satan held back that blessing. And since then you have not seen any light. It's like darkness is in front of you. Three years has held back blessings that made you happy. Today I hear the Lord say, in one month you will recover everything. <laughs> By the end of March, your major testimonies will stand on this altar. <laughs> Receive this blessing from the mountain of the Lord now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, there is somebody in the cycle of life. <laughs> they had ordained you to die this year. And the elements that should make your body deteriorate have begun to set in upon your life. Today I see the Lord. Zoom down into your life and arrest those elements. I see the Lord killing those demons and those worms one by one. Your body is being set free now. Receive deliverance this moment. And receive back the gift of your life. In the name of Jesus. And I had the Lord say to add to that. Within three months you are going to be promoted into a new place. Receive that blessing in Jesus' name. And people will wonder, ah, 
you were dying why are you not dead because they will come and find a man and a woman that is not ready to die yet because your body will have started manifesting a new thing receive that blessing and deliverance you will come back here and share your testimony listen every financial riches God gives you it is for the redemption of seasons lost and the building of visions to come this year is a year of building find a project and start it immediately Be did you hear what I just said first instruction find a project start it immediately because you will finish it Two, attach the life of that project to another project in the church. As you build your project, build the one in the church. One will feed the other. The other will feed the other. It's a connection of covenant. Life will sustain life. It's the second command if you want that open ground this year. Because one that was anointed Jedida in the temple it was to rebuild the temple sir and God is saying I beg you forgive me this is the second time I'm saying but the season of your stay here is over eh? this is a strange place God cannot make a blessing to permanently settle here because a stranger will eat the blessing eh? God wants the ground that you will give him that the blessings will be growing from the ground permanently like a garden of Eden and the people will enter and they will drink and there will be no interference nobody will spoil it you will forgive me five years is grace God has provided the grace to enter your new place things are going to happen so fast Anything you think the church needs, give it to the church as the Lord gives it to you. Anything you see the church, it needs a land, give it land. Write it down. Because the life of the projects you carry out shall be attached to the life of the ground. Did you hear what I said? Every prophecy God gave us this year has been fulfilled or is being fulfilled already. The exaltation of people, people getting blessings, promotion everywhere, lands opening, blessings. I have received my own in millions of naira. Did you hear what I'm saying? Millions. So I am not telling you stories. Stories. Already, God, from the day that car, that engine got sludged, eh? God commanded a new car. Better than that one. No, you won't understand. To let you know the limitlessness of the Holy Spirit. And to make me understand that it's a new season. That Satan has no power to stop us. Today, anything that stands in your way, let it be criminated. So as you do the projects, attach it to the projects here. If you think, if God shows you the need, even if the pastor has not seen it, go and give him. And see, he won't sell it. He can't sell it. <laughs> it's a Sabbath here. It's a redemptive here. Get it. Don't argue with him. Ah, he said, God says, I should give you this one. And God says, this should be done with it. If he tells you, permit me not to do it, still give him. You have obeyed. And leave the rest. Listen to me. Sir. Maybe this I should say privately, but when you enter into the new ground, a permanent legacy for this vision will be released and it will be confirmed permanently. Ah, from grace to grace, Jehovah is the Lord. From sure to sure, only Jehovah is God.
You know, some of you are Old Testament, I mean New Testament Christians. Some of us are both old and estates. Go, I repeat, literal physical estates. Because the secrets hidden in the sand are going to relate with you as the stones are rolled away and the obstructions are criminated. Can you begin to bless the Lord for this somebody? Just bless the Lord for that. Let's give God his glory. Let's give God his praise. Let's give God his glory and his praise. Listen. said I should tell you sir according to the book of Genesis the time when the waters should be going out of Eden to water the earth from Eden has come can you put that scripture I think it's in Genesis chapter 3 or is it chapter 2 chapter 3 I think you know and the water parted into four it became four it came four if I had my medicine here, I would have just read it. But God said that word. I don't know whether it is three, nine or something, but God said that word is for you. Rogic, in this new season, will be releasing waters to heal nations. That is a new, the new, the new level. Waters from here will be released out to heal, to heal, to establish new places. Actually, I saw one voice of Rogic. That means Rogic as a church, one overseas, and one other major one in Nigeria, apart from this headquarters. So I saw three Rogics, three branches of Rogics, representing the Trinity, speaking at the same time. Before I came here, that was how I got that scripture. I thought my assistant would rush with my instrument. Let me get me. It's on the screen. And a river went out. That was what I saw. That was the revelation. Went and a river, river went out of Eden to water the garden. You are a waterer of the garden. And from there it was parted and became into four heads. It is from there the riches of the earth were born. The first one opened up the land that was full of gold. It's there in your Bible. Opened up the land that was full of gold. This church is a feeder point for the salvation of the nations. Where governors will die, presidents will die, presidents will be born. Therefore today, if there is any politician here and you are a member of the church, I release you to limitless possibilities because your season to reign has come let the lord criminate anything that stands in your way let the anointing of your crown sit upon you now 
and encircle everything to bring you that blessing in the name of Jesus Christ wave and shout amen but in the meantime as a festival and I don't know if there are rogic members overseas by the hand of a few of them God wants them to start a fellowship there immediately and I'm commanding that as they are listening to me a fellowship should start immediately it is for the redemption of nations it is the opening of the gates and there is another point that is ready here let that one also start immediately I command that from this holy altar it is the next level in the name of Jesus and let their waters become for the healing of the nations can somebody bless the Lord for today? Just give God his glory, give God his praise. Thank you, Father.